what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked L battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we are rocking out with surfetch on the rank ladder alongside with a groudon and venusaur drought team you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously it goes a long way i want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers but before we get started with today's team preview i want to give a huge shout out to the team creator gigawatts if you guys do not know him he's a youtuber he also makes some great pokemon content so i will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel but with all that out the way, let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Groudon, the best drop Pokemon in the game with the Citrus Berry as its item. It's Rock and Protect, Rock Tomb, Prism Ice Blades, and then it has Sword Stance to set up its attack boost. Second Pokemon is going to be our second restricted Pokemon, which is going to be Yvelta over here with the Dark Roar alongside with that Assault Vest. Oblivion Wing, Snarl, Sucker Punch, and Foul Play, which I think is the best move set for any Yvelta. Middle left is going to be the Surf Edge over here. Really cool Pokemon, straight fighting type with Scrappy and the Koba Berry. It's rocking Helping Hand, Brave Bird, Quick Guard to protect us from first turn priority moves such as Fake Out and even like Extreme Speed and stuff like that. And then he has Faint over here. And Faint is going to work really, really well up against like Pokemon like Shadow Rider Calyrex or Lunala because like Shadow Rider Calyrex is one of those Pokemon, especially with Yvelta on the field, that protects instantly. So if we have a Pokemon like Surf Edge with the Scrappy ability, normal moves can now hit ghost pokemon so we can use faint to actually break protect and then have you about to come in here and you know do its big damage and get some work done so i really do like this combo right here hopefully we get to showcase it off but it is a very like niche combo it only comes in certain situations so maybe we'll showcase it off maybe we won't but we'll definitely get surf fetch out here in a couple of battles fourth pokemon on the squad is going to be life orb cinderace with that live bureau it just works so well it can change typing it has uh, a bunch of good moves it's just great all around it has pyro ball bounce high jump kick and sucker punch for first turn priority Bottom left hand corner is going to be Groudon's best friend. It is going to be Venusaur over here with that Chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun and then that Focus Ash so it doesn't get one tap. We got Sleep Powder for po 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 blah blah blah. I can't speak right now. Putting Pokemon to sleep. We got Helping Hand, Leaf Storm, and then Weather Ball for our final move. Bottom Pokemon on the squad is my favorite support line in all of Sword and Shield. We got Prankster and Light Clay Grimstone with Light Skin and Reflect. This Pokemon is just amazing. Really makes your team a lot bulkier and helps them stay in the battle a lot longer. Our final two moves are Thunder Wave and Spirit Break, and that wraps up Grimstone. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Surfetch Series 12 team. Battle number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Solgaleo and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Thunderous, and then he's got Incineroar, Rollboom, and then, you know, the Kangaskhan over here. So he has three fake out users. I gotta lead my boy Surfetch. Gotta lead my boy Surfetch. Probably gonna lead him alongside with Yvelta because Yvelta can't be affected by Intimidates, and he can also do work on the Solgaleo and uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. So I really do like those two. I think I'm gonna bring Groudon and Venusaur in the back end. They just seem to work wonders and can get off a lot of damage. So I like the Sun combo. I like the Surfetch and Yvelta. We're gonna lock it in, and we're gonna lock it down but yo guys series 13 is coming up very soon in about a month and i am looking for teams to showcase on my youtube channel so if you guys are interested in building me teams or if you guys already have series 13 teams build head down the link in the description below over to my twitter page leave me your team or dm me be like yo jeans what mythical pokemon do you want me to build you a team around the chances are i'm going to be using it on my youtube channel so if you guys are interested in that i would love to get my hands on your guys' series 13 teams because i would rather use fan-made teams rather than other people's teams so if you guys are interested in that like i said link down in the description below to my twitter tweet at me dm dm at me however you guys want to get after me and uh we'll, we'll talk it out we'll talk it out but let's get after this first battle and try to get ourselves a win with this lovely little surf fetch this lovely little surf fetch and, and this is actually a solid battle that we can lead him up against which is cool because again he has sees a bunch of fake out users he has scrappy so intimidate won't affect them i just like him all around hopefully he leads a shadow out of calyx that could be pretty cool he's gonna lead solgaleo and thunderous so this thunderous could actually be a eerie impulse thunderous um okay that's kind of scary but uh at the same time not really because we can just foul play straight into solgaleo we can just foul play straight into solgaleo but i think it is what we're gonna do or he can dynamax and go into that uh that shot we could definitely do that i think we just helping hand this uh this sucker punch or not sucker punch this uh foul play right it sounds pretty good it sounds pretty good and this that's exactly what i'm gonna do that is exactly what i'm gonna do so he's gonna end up dynamaxing and i think i'm actually hoping it's so but i think it's gonna be what's called thunderous right i think it's gonna be thunderous please be so galeo it is gonna be so galeo okay that's not too bad that's not too shabby I mean, he could eerie impulse up on me, but then we have a physical attack with foul play coming in hot. Let's just see what he does. Let's see his play. 
Helping Hands can come out here first from my little scrappy little boy. My little Sir Fetch with his Celery Sword. And Foul Play's gonna come in hot. Do some ridiculous damage. That's some big time damage, which we love. We're gonna proc Weakness Policy, and he's gonna pick up a Kilba. So I'll take that damage all day. I'll take that damage all day. And let's see how he plays this one. He's gonna go for an E Web. He's gonna slow us down. That's fine by me. E Web's gonna come out here, slow us down. And then he's gonna go into what with Sokaleo? He's gonna go into Steel Spike? Quake? Quake would be a smart option. He's gonna go into a Lightning instead. And yeah, we're probably dead to that, right? Yeah, we end up dying. That, that's not too bad. I'll take that turn all day. I'll take that turn all day. And from here, you know what? I might just, uh. I might just go into Venusaur. I might just go into Venusaur and then just uh, hard swap Groudon, right? Could be my play. Or I can go into Groudon, but we have to go into Venusaur here. Let's go into Venusaur, hard swap into Groudon. Dynamax, Weather Ball turn, turns into Max Flare, and we get rid of this uh, Solgaleo, because I can't deal with it right now. I cannot deal with that Pokemon. So, yeah, that's going to be our play all day long. Swap it to the Groudon. And then go into here. Max Strike will turn into the Flare. That should be enough to take him out. So I do like that turn. I do not mind that turn one bit. So that's a solid little turn. We don't have Yvelta anymore, but I feel like Yvelta got off a lot of work. We just got to worry about that uh, Shadow Rider Cadillac, which I, I mean, we could definitely be fine up against. But yeah, that's so that that Sogaleo is a beast. Sogaleo is definitely a beast. But Yvelta got off some big time damage with that foul play, which is ridiculously big because you know that thing is rather bulky there as well. So we'll set the drought. I wonder what Thunders is going to go for. But if he doesn't max guard here, this is just a big time KO and we get rolling out in the battle. And E Web won't affect Groudon. That's just huge. That is just huge. It's great all around. And then we still have our Dynamax boy. We can drop a uh, G Max Bind Lash, which can chip damage for the rest of the match. I just like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting if he doesn't max guard. If he does not max guard. So let's see how this one plays out here. Do not max guard. Just do your own thing. This goes for an eerie impulse. Okay, that's rather smart. I hate eerie impulse. That's an annoying move in the game. Can Max Flare still take out? Hopefully. Probably not. Hopefully, though. Ah, dude, I hate this game. I hate this game. Steel Spike's gonna fly through it. Can you eat that up? Okay, it's in the Venusaur. Venusaur should be able to eat that up. And it does on 10. That's that's big time plays. It's still 10, 8, 10 HP. That's type nice. That is type nice. So he's gonna get that defense boost. And from here, you know what? Let's just Swords Dance. And let's roll into a another Max Strike. Just roll into another max strike. Because no one's out speeding thunders. No one is out speeding thunders. And a and a flare should be able to take that out. Well not thunders. No no one's out speeding my Venusaur. So that's good. That's good. And I can set up a nice little sword dance. I have my scrappy boy in the back end, which works wonders. Let me get rolling out from here. I still have my citrus berry on my uh ground on, which is great. I wonder what he's gonna do here. If I get this sword dance up, woo! I can get the sword stance up. We can be sitting nice. Here comes the flare. So Galeo should be gone here, right? Get him out of here. Nice, nice, nice. He's gone. I'm setting up this lovely little sword stance. And I think that Thunderous is just going to take out mine. And if he doesn't, yo, I'll take it all day. I'll set up a G-Max Bind Lash next turn. Let's see what he does. He goes for e -Web. Dodge it, Venusaur. Doesn't affect Groudon. And he takes me out. So he does go for that. Okay, that's fine. Sword stance setting up here. I can get after it with some damage. And then if he wants to go into a fake out Pokemon, which I'm kind of hoping he does. He's probably gonna go into a Pokemon like Incineroar or even Rollboom. Or even Rollboom. I'm just gonna go for the Quick Guard. We can block, block Grassy Glides and Fake Outs, and we can just drop Rocks or even, or even what's called Blades. So let's roll. Let's roll. Let's get after it. So battle's looking air right now. It's looking air, but we, we can definitely make something out of it. And he goes Incineroar. Okay, yeah, dude. Quick Guard into Rocks. Do we drop Rocks? I feel like Rocks will get more value out of, right? I feel like Rocks we can get a little bit more value out of. Just a little bit more value out of it. Oh, it's Rock Tomb. We could Blades. Or do we Rock Tomb? Hmm. So we just roll into Blades. We get rid of him and we just quick guard the shot. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I don't think he's expecting the quick guard. There's no way he's expecting the quick guard. He's, just, he's going for the fake out. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. You're going for the fake out. You gotta fake out my crowd on him, right? You gotta be like, Ayo, let me fake out this ground on. Let's see what let's see what happens here. So quick card's gonna poke out here. He's gotta go for a fake out, right? Fake out's gotta come out here. He's gonna go for a taunt. And uh we're blocked. Oh, that counts for quick card too. That's huge. Blade's gonna come out here. Does not affect him, but does it connect in Sonora? He does have a berry. We're plus one. Should be able to get off a decent amount of damage, right? He tries taunting me. 
We're chipping up some damage. I'm surprised. What's he going for here? He's going for party shot, isn't he? He's gonna go for a flare blitz. Who, who you going after? Radon? This people soak pretty well. Let's go. You still have a berry. You still have a lovely little berry. You still have a lovely little berry. I mean, you can't fake out. I think we just go for a rock tomb here. And do we think that a brave bird can actually take him out? Let's see how Surfetch does here. Let's see how Surfetch can, can can rip it here. He's gonna go for the E-Web. That's fine. He's gonna slow down my Surfetch just a little bit. Brown still should go next. And how much damage are we gonna do with a Rock Tomb? How much damage are we gonna do with a Rock Tomb? Rock Tomb coming in hot. And not as much as I wanted it to do. We still have a berry. I wish I had my Dynamax. I really do. Speed's gonna drop. He's gonna go for another Flare Blitz. My berry's gonna poke here and he's gonna chip up some more damage on the ground on. Ouch, dude. If he has Shadow Rider Calyx in the back end, that hurts the soul. Because Barry's going to poke here. And I'm trying to think of what we could do. I'm trying to think of what we could do. Because this is going to take him out. Brave Bird's definitely going to take him out. And, mmm. If it's Shadow Rider Calyrex, that hurts, man. It's got to be Shadow Rider, right? Or maybe he didn't bring it in because uh, we're rocking Yveltal. But it's got to be Shadow Rider, right? It's got to be Shadow Rider. So battle number one's not looking hot for us. Unless, unless it's not. We're, we're going to have our fingers crossed. But... It's not looking too good for you, boy. Yep, it's Calyrex. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I mean, I would have to get after him. I would have to get after Calyrex. Have to get after Calyrex. Um, I do not know. I guess we're going to have to Blades and try to try to just rip into him. Quick Guard's going to do nothing. I guess we just faint, maybe? Just in case it protects. I mean, maybe it protects, but Chainstar doesn't. But we're just going to faint into it. Maybe it protects. No, it does not. But Faint's gonna come in hot. Yali. And he's gonna go for that Astro Barrage. Can you somehow eat this up, Groudon? Can you somehow get this work done? Probably not, right? No shot. Yep, and Chatter Rider Calyrex comes in the back end, cleans everything up, and battle number one goes to our opponent. Not a bad battle. We got Surf Fetch out there, but you guys know we gotta hop into a second and look for our first victory. First battle didn't go your boy's way, but it's all good. We have ourselves another battle. We're hopping into our second battle. Let's grab ourselves a victory here. We got the showcase Surf Edge in battle number one. Maybe we'll bring him here, but he just does not seem like the pick here. He's got Zassine. He's got Palkia. He can actually pop uh, Trigger him with Palkia. And then he has the Venus or Torkoal combo with Tornadas and Indeedee. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Yvelth is obviously good. Groudon's good. We're going to go Grout. Oh, I could set up screens, but I kind of want to go Cinderace. I kind of want to go Cinderace. Uh... I could ground on Venusaur, which isn't too bad for the. That's not too bad, but then if he goes into a Pokemon like Palkia to pop Trick Room, then it kind of hurts Soul. So I kind of want to go Grimmsnarl here. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl and a Pokemon just like Venusaur on its own. Venusaur, and then we'll go ground on you, Beltal. I kind of like that, because Venusaur is not too bad in Trick Room, like, without the Sun, you know? It doesn't do too bad in Trick Room without the Sun, but at that case, he would probably just roll into Torkoal, and that could, that could do me dirty, but I kind of like this. Because if he's going to pop Trick Room, I can obviously just throw him to sleep and we can kind of get him to a battle that way. But I do have the lovely little Grimstar. I'll just set up some screens, paralyze around, get some work done. I do dig him. But let's see who he ends up leading. Who is your lead, kind sir? Palkia and Tornado. So he can go either way with this one. He can go either way with this one. He can go either way. He can go either way. But Lightstream is definitely the call here. Two special attackers. Let's set up. Lightstream's going to come out here. And I think the play is just going to be Papa Sleep Powder right on the Palkia. I think that's our play all day. If he Tailwinds, which I think he's going to do, I don't think he's going to risk a Hurricane hit. I think he's just going to Tailwind and get after me. Yeah, there's a Tailwind. Okay, so we still have Focus Ash. He's not going to trick him, but still we can put Palkia to sleep, which could be a solid turn. Let's see coming out here. Palkia's going to go next. Now, I wonder what Palkia's going for. Fire Blast. Oh, this thing's ripping with Fire Blast. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're able to soak. Land a sleep powder, please. Thank you very much. So we land a sleep powder. I do dig that. I do dig that. I can start spirit breaking into him. And if I wanted to, I could I could actually hard swap if I want to. I could hard swap if I want to, but spirit break's gonna be your play all day. And I'm just gonna leave storm. I'm gonna mm, what do I do? Good weather ball. Weather ball might do a little bit more damage. Hmm. I could hard swap Venusaur and save him for Sun. I could set the drought here too, because drought wouldn't be too bad. If he is going for a hurricane, it could be solid. I'm gonna swap the Venusaur. I'm gonna swap the Venusaur. Definitely get more value out of it in drought. And I really want this Grimstone here, because Grimstone has super effective shot on the Palkia. It could just work well. 
can just work well. We have the light screen out, which is huge for pretty much a lot of the game. And oh, what a call. What a call. I'll give it to you all day. What a call. What a call. I'll give that to him all day. That's a beautiful little call right there. It's a beautiful little call. That thing's going to be still asleep. We're going to hit it with a nice little spear break. Coming high. How much damage are we really going to do with spear break? Great damage. That is some lovely damage. That is some huge damage. That's some really good damage. Um, hmm, he's probably going to hurricane me. I ain't going to lie. I would love to... I'll have to drop this again. What do I do with you? Do I just protect him? I could protect it, or I could definitely hard swap into a Pokemon like Venusaur. Just have Venusaur drop out here and save my ground on some HP. Huh. What do I want to do here? Because what Pokemon does, does he have in the back end? It's got to be Pokemon. It's got to be Zacian and Venusaur, right? Hmm. Definitely, I definitely want a Spirit Break in this slot again. I want a Spirit Break. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. I'm going to go for a straight Swords Dance. Let's see what he does. He, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Who are you Dynamaxing? Who are you Dynamaxing? The Thunders? I'm going to paralyze that thing next to him. Wow, yo. Thunders with the Dynamax. Thunders with the Dynamax. That's surprising. That is super surprising, but really cool at the same time. That's really cool at the same time. He's going to airstream me. He's going to go into Grimstar. Grimstar going to be able to soak. I don't mind that. I don't think Palkia wakes up here. I really don't think Palkia wakes up here. Yep, he does not wake up. I could actually paralyze that Thunderous, but it depends who he goes into next turn. Sword Zane's coming out from Groudon. I get Dynamax Groudon now. And it, again, it really depends who he, who he rolls into next turn. If he rolls into Zacian, I'm obviously going to... Actually, I might not even Dynamax. It depends. It depends. But if he rolls his ass in, I'm going to set up Reflect. If he doesn't, I'm going to send Thunder Waves out. But I really, really like the plays that we just made. There. Really good plays. And I'm seriously surprised he dropped that, that Pokemon. Or he Dynamax Thunders. Or Tornadus. So, uh, yeah. He brings out Zassian. Do I Reflect him? Probably, right? I might Reflect him. And he's probably going to Protect. And at this point, I'm just going to drop a big time rock over onto you. Right? I mean, I can always paralyze him next turn, too, because he can't Tailwind after that. Tailwind's about to end. So, he could protect. If he doesn't, if he does, it's fine. If he doesn't, that's fine. It didn't really don't matter to me, because like I said, I'm setting up to Reflect. I'm going to get that out here. That's going to have first turn priority with Prankster, and then we're just going to get rid of his Dynamax Pokemon. So, yo, solid turns from us. Real solid turns for us. I mean, he set the rain, but Groudon's not really affected by rain too much. It's a, it's a ground-type Pokemon. It's not a fire-type Pokemon. It would just take more damage to water moves, which he's not really show, showing he has. He ends up protecting that Zassian. There's a beautiful turn by us. We make the protect call. That's totally fine. We're going to drop a rock over on that slide. And we're going to set up a reflect for next turn. That's a huge turn for Jeans. We love this turn. We love this turn. He could go for another airstream, which he's probably going to do, right? Yeah, he's going to go into an airstream. That's, we're going to be able to soak that up all day. That's easy eats. And he already has speed, so the speed boost isn't really doing him anything. What a turn by Jeans. What a turn by Jeans. We're going to say bye-bye to Tornadus. And we are going to take weather control, too. We are going to take a little bit of weather. So get this rock rolling. Get this rock rolling. Get out of here, Tornado. So that's a Sash. It is Sash, but still, yo. Buffets are chipping away. Let's go, dude. We are thriving. Yo, that Sword Dance call was great. Great little Sword Dance call. And it was perfect for me to put that uh, put that Palkia to sleep turn one. Really good turn for us. And it, and it actually landed, which is great. So we make a nice little Protect read. And I'm pretty sure this battle's a wrap. I'm pretty sure this battle's a wrap. Because Groudon can eat up whatever Zacian has to offer. I could slow him down if I want to, but I feel like we should just soak the shot, right? We have Berry. We, sh we can soak it up and reflect all day. It really Let's see who he brings out here. Is it going to be like Venusaur? Who is it? Indeedy. Okay. Let's give him a nice little chance here. I cannot prank, so I have to just go into my shots here. That's a pretty. That's a not a bad Pokemon. Not a bad Pokemon. And who do we have in the back end? Do we have Cinderace? No, we just have Venusaur. We just have Venusaur. Oh, no. Who else do we have? Oh, we have Yveltal. We have Yveltal, which is pretty good. But, uh, yeah. We just got to drop Spirit Breaks. I guess we're going here. He's definitely going to go for the follow me. I'm still going to go for this Quake shot. And we're going to roll after it that way. We are just going to roll after it that way. Follow me coming out here. No, he's going to go for a helping hand. Can you eat this? Can you eat this, Groudon? I feel like you should. through just reflect. If you don't eat this, I'm going to cry. If you don't eat this, this is ridiculous. Don't you dare tell me this KOs me. Thank you, Reflect. Thank you, Reflect. That's GG's. That is GG's now. I feel like he would have got more value out of following me. But I feel like he was just going for the big time KO. 
Because if he followed me that shot, he could have Behemoth Blade and then Behemoth Blade again with another follow me. Actually, no, you would have been dead indeed. But this just takes him out completely, and that's going to finish up the match, yo. Let's go. Like I said, yo, battle number two, we're grabbing ourselves a victory. That's exactly what we did. And this might be a sweep. This might be a sweep. We still have all four Pokemon. It was a good swap from us to bring in the Groudon. Great Swords Dance. Uh, Grimstarl did a lot of work. Like, his screens really helped us out. Screens are just... That's why, that's why I think he's my favorite support mod. That's why he is my favorite support mod. Like, dude, just set up screens like that. Like, look how bulky my team was. We were soaking up air streams. We were doing a lot of different works, but we made some great plays overall. We put the Palkia to sleep, swapped to a Groudon. We were just like, yo, you know what? Palkia's going to be asleep again. Let's go into a sword Dance. So we popped the Swords Dance, and that pretty much just wrapped up the battle. But we'll go into this. We'll go into this. I think our opponent just cancels the battle, and we get a sweep for battle number two. Cancel battle, right? Cancel battle. Give us a sweep. Give us a sweep. Give us a sweep. I think Groudon outspeeds in DD anyway, so I think it's a guaranteed sweep. I think so. I think so. Just for following me okay <laughs> he's just having some fun here he's just like all right take me out he's like take me out that's hilarious that's hilarious but yo gg's to our opponent not a bad battle we end up grabbing that sweep making some great calls and ground on clutches it up for us final battle coming at you guys and we're looking to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video going up against more meta pokemon i cannot wait for series 13. he has shadow rider calyrex alongside with zacian urshifu then he's got the landorus whimsicott and blast so he's at his final three pokemon i kind of want to bring incinerase in this battle because we haven't showcased it yet incinerase actually works out really really well really really well it does have a flying move too which is right it's rock and bounce please show me it's rock and bounce is it not that that's really good with the live bureau Oh, yeah, it's Rocket Bounce. We love it. So I might just lead this Pokemon. Get some speed control. Get after the battle that way. I mean, he has Intimidate, which kind of stinks. It's kind of rough for us. Maybe I want to lead a Pokemon like Grimstone. Maybe I want to lead the Weather Combo. Hmm. What do I want to do? He's definitely leading the Landers. Landers is such a pain. It's such a pain, dude. I hate you, Landers. I hate you, Landers. You know, we're going to go Venusaur. We're going to go Groudon. That is going to be my play. I mean, he might lead Wimscott. I'm just got Shadow Rider Kalex could be scary too. Dude, he has so many options. Leave me alone. You know what? Cinderace Shivelta. Final call right there. Grim Snarl. Or not Grim Snarl. Uh, Venus from Groudon. Lock it in. Lock it down. This guy's team is ridiculously strong. It just has too many different leads that he can go into and counter up on a bunch of my Pokemon. But I do think Glider's going to come out here. He does. You know, it'd be like that. We're still going to Dynamax Cinderace, I feel like. I could go into a Max Knuckle. Options, options, options. Again, hopefully it's not the Lando, but it, I know it's going to be Lando, right? Here it is, Landorus. No, it's not. Okay, okay. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. Uh, I do not mind that. I could say Fire Typing. I could definitely say Fire Typing. It definitely posts a threat onto that uh, onto that, that dog right there. I might Hard Swap. He's probably going for a Play Rough, right? He's probably going for a Play Rough. And you know what? Let's just get after this thing. G-Max Fireball. Like, who does he have that's going to soak up a G-Max Fireball? Blastoids? I don't think he brought Blastoids. Um, got to be going for a play rough, right? I wish I had Protect. He's got to be going for a play rough. Uh, I think we might just go to Groudon at this point. I have Groudon soak up the shot. I have that Citrus Berry poke, poke. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. I'm not dealing with it. I wish I had Protect on this Pokemon. I wish I had Protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. This is going to make this G-Max Fireball do a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, oh my god. I didn't even realize. We were swapping in a Drought. Like, dude. G-Max Fireball already is, like, base, like, what is it? 150, 160? Give it the Drought damage? Like, oh my god. <laughs> It might be one of the strongest G-Max moves. That's why I like, uh, I love Cinderus. His, his G-Max move is just super, super strong. Let's see what it does. Even if he protects, you, might still be able to dump some damage off. Tailwind's gonna come out here. I think it's gonna be the play rough, right? Was my, was my call correct? My daddy's gonna Behemoth Blade into me. It's gotta be play rough. Oh, wait, Behemoth Blade's into, oh, wow. Behemoth Blade's into him. I mean, we eat this up still, which is pretty good. And our berry's gonna poke. I don't mind it. That's not a bad turn. And we get rid of Zassian. I, I really like that tail. I don't mind it because then I can airstream into what's it called next turn. I can airstream into Whimscott next turn, which is solid. Get after it that way. There's this. See you later. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that giant fireball coming across the board. Giant fireball. No problem. See you later. Get him out of here. 
That's a solid start for us. I mean, he is sitting in the driver's seat with uh, with a lot of speed. And I think he just throws that Pokemon like Calyrex at this point. But again, we have Yavelt in the back end, which could help us out with that. Oh, goes, oh wow. We didn't, I'm surprised he didn't swap into Blast Wings. We have the Trout going. Um, I'm going to Airstream. Right? I'm going to Airstream. And do I Airstream? I mean, he has speed already. Like, what's, what's Wimscott really going to do? But even I, I might airstream, but not into him. Find the Wimscott. Like, what's Wimscott gonna taunt me? Moonblast. I mean, I definitely want to change my typing. But I'm gonna do that, and I think I'm just gonna drop a blades here. Take off Focus Ash onto Wimscott, and kind of roll from there. Again, I'd be a belt on the back and deal with that. But Blastoise is gonna get the Dynamax. Um, we're fine here. I mean, he can't change up weather. This should be G Max Blastoise, right? Yeah, so we can't change up weather because all of his water moves turn into that lovely little uh, can you need. So we should be able to soak, and then we should be able to change up typing, which is bad. I mean, he, he might have helping hand. He might have helping hand. He could do him a little little good. But no, he just goes straight for green. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not guarding or anything. I'm going to let him go. Oh, he goes for a hailstorm. He can change up weather that way. He's going to get rid of ground. Okay. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. So he changes up weather like that. Uh... It's a crit. I mean, crit didn't matter. He's taking out, us out regardless. And oh, that kind of stinks. I want my Venus route here. I want my Venus route in that sun. I want that Venus route in the sun. Right as, right as I was saying, right as I was saying, yo, he can't change up weather, blah, blah, blah. He drops a hailstorm. <laughs> but I was saying he can't change up weather as in like rain. But Liberia is going to do a nice chunk of damage. We changed the flying. I mean, that's better than, uh, it's better than fire at this point, you know? Is better than fire. He takes off his sash himself, so I'm cool with that. And then at this point, I might just go into Yveltal. I am going to go into Yveltal. Ah, do I go into Yveltal? Do I save my Yveltal? I could go into Venusaur. I mean, he's probably just going to gleam, right? But I feel like Yveltal should be able to soak up whatever shots he has to offer, and then on top of that, just Oblivion Wing. Yeah, I like that turn. Because we have a Soul Fest up against two special attackers. I, th I feel like we just Oblivion Wing. Whatever damage we, we take... I feel like we're going to regenerate a lot with the Oblivion Wing. With how much damage we can do on the Swim Scott. And then at this point, we just, uh... We should Airstream again and grant some more speed for us. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a solid turn. That's a solid little turn, because I don't even see a Gleam and a Hailstorm taking out my Yveltal. And I doubt he even doubles into my Yveltal. We have a Soul Fest, dude. I like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. I dig it. I dig it a lot. I dig it a lot. We know it's final Pokemon. Okay, helping hands come out. You're not taking out my Yveltal or even my Cinderace. No shot. And we outspeed you. And we outspeed you, which is huge. We outspeed you. So we bring this thing down to one. I can sucker punch him next turn and get rid of him. So he's not getting off another turn. You, sir, are not getting off another turn. But yeah, he's got to have Calyrex in the back end. So I, I, I really like where we're sitting. And no, dude, Oblivion Wing comes out first. God dang, yo, Blastoise. You're too slow, man. Blastoise, you're way too slow. We get rid of him. We are going to take some damage now. God dang it, man. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game, but it's even better because uh, our Dynamax ends, so now we have two Pokemon that can suck a bunch on the field. So he goes for the Candy Nade. Yvelta says, yo, that is the tastiest thing on planet Earth. Um, and that Vortex kind of kind of sucks, man. But at least we have two Pokemon that can suck a bunch on the field. And Buffets are flying, so Sash is gone. And he's going to bring a Calyrex. We're going to go Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch. We're going to roll from there, which he's probably just going to protect. And get rid of my Yveltal, but still. Sucker Punch is going to work wonders. It's going to work wonders, right? It's got to be Calyrex. No, it's Urshifu. And we have speed. We have some speed here. We have some speed on this board. We have some speed. Uh, I'm just going to Sucker Punch with you. Sinner's going to eat up a shot, and I'm just going to Oblivion Wing with you. Wow, yo, no Calyrex? That's a surprise. That's a surprise. I think he was just like, yo, this jeans has Yveltal. Let me not let me not waste a slot because everybody knows though. Calyrex is good, but Yveltal just counters him hard. He's gonna guard. I think he might double guard here. Oh, he does not double guard. Yveltal should be able to outspeed. Wow. Oh no, he, he is going for a sucker punch. Smart play. Great play by him. Great play by him, but still, I think like we're thriving. We have a lot of speed going on. A lot of speed. And don't we still have do, wait, no, we don't have ground on. Well, if it's gonna chip up on him, I could sucker punch him. Vortex gonna chip up some damage, and he's probably gonna sucker punch first. And Tailwind's gone, so we have sucker punch all day. We have sucker punch all day. I 
feel like we just go into a... Do we put him to sleep? Do we rest to sleep or do we just go into a leaf storm? That's a real question. That's a real question. Man, I could bounce. That's what I'm going to do. Because Venusaur should be faster than that Groudon, right? Oh, yeah. You're definitely faster. Than oh, not the Groudon. Then the Blastoids. So, we have the Focus Hash. You know what? I'm just going to Weather Ball to finish you off. I'm just going to roll off from there. I could actually let Buffet take him out. But I'm going to bounce here. I'm going to go for Helping Hand. It's totally fine. Is that a Helping Hand Sucker Punch? It is. That was actually a really good play. And that weather ball is kind of kind of useless. I went after Earth through there, but can a Leaf Storm take him out? We're gonna lose this battle. I don't like this. I don't like where we're sitting. I don't like this one bit. He outspeeds me. Here goes my Focus Ash. Oh no! I don't like this. I gotta put him to sleep. I gotta put him to sleep, right? Or do I just go for the Leaf Storm? I feel like I have to put him to sleep. I feel like I have to put him to sleep. Sucker Punch. Oh, yo, he went for the Sucker Punch. He might be choosing that. Sleep Powder comes out here. Okay, that's good. That's good. He might be choosing the Sucker Punch. That works. That works. I like that. <laughs> Hail's gone. Uh, let's just Leaf Storm. Let's just Leaf Storm out. Leaf Storm coming in here. But yo, the Vortex. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He might be cho <laughs> He might be choice. So I could... Depending on how much damage this Leaf Storm does, I might just start Sleep Powder in the rest of the match. Like... Because if he's choice into that, he's got to be choice, yo. He would have just went into a Wicked Blow. He had speed on me. Leaf Storm's going to fire. And that just says GG. So perfect. Everything works out perfectly. Sleep Powder comes in clutch. And Venusaur clutches up for that winning record. What a set of battles. We ended up grabbing ourselves a winning record with this Surfetch team. We got Surfetch in battle number one. He got some work done. We ended up losing that battle. But then second and third battle, we came up clutch, grabbed ourselves two wins, and dominated both those battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.